Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to port forward on your computer. This is commonly used to host servers uh, for games or web hosting or allow access to your computer for uses uh, such as remoting or FTP access. Let's get started. Uh, I'm on a Windows 8 machine and I'm going to scroll up to the top right. I'm going to go to the search and I'm going to type in CMD. I'm going to type in uh, IP config into the command prompt. And if you look into wireless LAN adapter and Wi Fi, you'll see uh, IPv4 address. And then you can read or write down these numbers or just keep the window open so that you can go back to it. And you're also going to want to take note of the default gateway. Um, listed here okay once you have the default gateway you want to pop open a browser um, I will use uh, Mozilla for this okay now just enter in your default gateway okay once you're at your default gateway mine is Belkin uh, mine shows up you want to look on the the left side of the screen and it's virtual servers uh, if you're on something else I think Netgear shows theirs as uh, port forward and on other routers it may be a little bit different but basically you want to look for uh, port forwarding or uh, virtual servers and uh, they're usually listed under a firewall of some type now to log in uh, you may have a password you might have to enter in a uh, user and a password and those can be found underneath your router or on the router box that you purchased it with uh, common names are admin and admin is the password or sometimes the password is blank or sometimes the password is password uh, once you find your credentials just uh, go in and for me virtual servers um, now basically you can enter in a description for your port forward and I will say you or I'll say this one is FTP and um, you can enter in uh, inbound port um, which is basically going to be the number that whatever program you're setting up for is going to use to get into your computer this is going to be used along with the IP address um, so let's say I want to set this up as 25 um, and then uh, private port will be 25 as well now this is where your IPv4 address will come into play so each machine in your house or if you only have one machine it will be given a private address and as you saw before uh, let's see yours or mine is uh, 0.7 so I will enter 0.7 and uh, it's a good idea to usually use uh, TCP and UPD uh, on some routers this will just be shown as both um, and then uh, as you can see I already have some ports in here so Minecraft usually uses 25565 Terraria usually uses 47s uh, if you want to allow remote access to your machine uh, that's usually 3389 starbound is 21025 and these are defaults set up by those applications um, now if you were to set up a web hosting or a, a host a server um, you may set that port up in the application but the only thing you need to remember is to come back here and put in the correct port number so once you've done that you can hit apply changes 
Okay, now for some routers you won't have uh, an apply changes button. It will most likely uh, automatically save and then you can go back in if you're unsure if it worked and you can go to those exact settings and I'll go back to my virtual servers and I see that it's still in there so I know that it worked. Okay and the last part of this is probably the most important part. Um, you want other people to connect to your server or whatever you're hosting and um, you're not going to give them the default or the IPv4 address. Um, what you want to do is you want to go into Google and you want to type what's my IP and basically uh, you want to give them that number and that's the number that will allow them to access your computer from wherever they are. Now in situations where the computers being used and shared together are in the same household or they're local, then you might be able to use those internal addresses. But for external use by other users, you need to give your external address. And that's what this is. Congratulations and thank you for watching and please remember to subscribe for more videos. Thanks.